Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Today I've got for you two DIY projects inspired by anthropology items. I love browsing anthropology website as most of the products are super cute and in my style. However, the prices are always over my budget and my will for paying for this kind of thing. So I've picked up two home decor products which I really like and I will try to recreate them for a much lower price. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. For my first DIY project, I decided to recreate this anthropology floral greeting doormat. I think it's a very unique piece of decor and I love the color pattern and the word hello. This mat cost £44, which let's be honest is a lot of money for something that is going to last you only a few months and then gets dirty and faded so you have to throw it away. During my last visit in IKEA I bought this basic and plain doormat for £3.50. It looks exactly the same like the one from Anthropology. This mat measures 60 times 40 cm. I will start with creating word hello. I took measuring tape and roughly look where I want my letters to go. I will start them about 4 cm away from the edge on the sides and 10 cm away from top and bottom edge. To create nice and even sign, the best option would be stencils. I don't have any and I want to create this project on the budget so I decide to cut them uh, out of the paper instead. I make sure each letter is the same size and measure 18 cm high and 9.5 cm wide. And to paint the design on the mat, I will be using oil paints. I've got small collection of few different colors, I'm not a big fan of using oil paints, that's why all of them are pretty much full. For the letters, I'm using white paint. I place the letter template in the right position and then secure it with pins. Then I take paintbrush and start painting the edges of the letter. So half of the brush paints the paper and half of it paints the line outside the template. It don't have to be done super well, just to create visible lines around the letter. And I repeat the process with the rest of the letters leaving the same size gap between them. Now I'm going along the lines again, making them thicker, fuller and more visible. It is quite a time consuming process, it takes time to paint the matte surface as it's rough and uneven. The best method I found to paint it is tapping down with your brush rather than trying to paint straight lines. Once the word hello is finished, I can focus on the rest of the design. I will be painting one color of the flower at the time. And in this case, I place the pattern in random places. I don't follow the exact anthropology design, it would just take me forever to copy it. The flowers are also very simple and I would even say abstract art. So for variety, I paint few different shapes of flowers. You can of course pick up your favorite colors as well. I was just using what I had, plus I was mixing some paints together to achieve different shades and colors. Overall, it was a really fun and relaxing thing to do. I've painted some orange, yellow, red, pink and blue flowers. To fill the space of the bat a bit more, I've started painting flowers, leaves and stalks. And again, just random shapes in random places. I finish it all by adding black dots in the middle of the flowers. After a few days of drying, as that is how long oil paint takes to dry, I've protected it all with double layer of varnish in spray. My varnish is for interior and exterior use, so hopefully it will protect this mat for a while. 
I'm not 100% sure how this mat is going to behave outside, so I would suggest to use it inside. But if you really want to leave it outside, probably summertime would be the best for it, as it doesn't rain that much. Overall, I'm super happy how it's turned out. It's so eye-catching and I love it. And even if it will last me only a few months, I'd rather pay £3.50 plus the cost of paints than spending £44. Second item I'm going to recreate is this beautiful vase. It's currently out of stock, so I'm not really sure about the price. I found it a while ago and I took the screenshots on my phone as an inspiration for my future project. I just loved its folklore slash rustic style. So I was lucky enough to grab this vase from thrift shop for only one pound. When I saw it, I just knew it's almost identical shape. What the anthropology vase is. Because it's a dark color, I will need few layers of paint to actually cover it up. So to start with, I'm using white acrylic paint and I apply it with the brush. If you got primer, that would be even better. When the paint is drying, I take thin more polymer clay in white color to create the handles which go on the sides of the vase. I'm taking quite a big piece of it and start rolling it on the table and between my hands. I try to roll it to the same thickness. I will be doing three small handles on each side so it's exactly the same as original vase. I take the long piece of clay and measure how big I want the handle to be. And then I cut this size out and another five of them. I bend each of them but I do it gently as this clay may just snap easily. I cut each end at an angle so they will better stick to the vase. And the same with the other ones. It's actually not that easy to make the perfect shape of them, but just try to move them to the vase and change the shape or the ends if needed. I've took baking tray with baking paper on it and I move all the handles on the tray, making sure they are left in the right position. This is the last time when you can improve or change the shape of clay. And I put them to the oven for 30 minutes at 110 Celsius degrees. Once they are baked and cooled down, I can start attaching them to the vase. I'm using super glue for stronger result. Because I didn't like the gaps between the handles, I've decided to use Erdra clay to fill them with. I take small pieces at a time and with wooden tool I push it down and smooth it. For easier work I dip tool in the water. And after day of drying, I took it outside and sprayed it with white paint. At the moment, it's super white and shiny, and to achieve similar dirty look, I use coffee. The white paint can't be completely dry because the coffee will just run down. It has to be wet enough so the coffee will combine with it and change slightly the color. I've left it for a few minutes and then using tissue I remove the excess coffee. You can see it leaves this nice almost muddy look. I've mixed blue, grey and black paint together to achieve very similar shade to the one from original vase. I have the photo of the vase open next to me and I just started to copy the design the best way I could.
I'm actually really happy how it turned out. I think it looks very similar to the original one. Recreating expensive items on the budget is a good fun, especially if you really like it and it's not available for sale anymore. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about these recreations of anthropology products? Do they look similar to the original ones? And if there is any other item from this shop or even other shop you would like to see me um, recreating, just message me on Instagram. I will collect a few more ideas and create another video for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, thank you so much for watching your support and I will see you in my next video.